right, so our friends at Melissa's Produce hooked us up yet again. These are red, white, and blue potatoes, and they challenged our whole team to come up with unique recipes. So let's see who came up with the best one. I decided to make some cheesy hash browns. Let's go. First order of business is shredding these little guys and giving them a water bath for about 10 minutes. Don't forget to dry them afterwards. Now add your green onions, garlic, two eggs, and a cup of flour and some salt and pepper. Mix all that together and now you're ready to go. Pour your veggie oil in your skillet about a quarter inch high. Scoop your shredded potato mix and lay it in the oil. Be sure to flatten it out so you can get a nice little base. Add your mozzarella cheese and then a little more of your shredded potatoes so you can seal it in. Give it a nice little tap with that spatula and let it sit for a minute. Once you got both sides fried, you're done. Let's split one open. Look at these colorful cheesy hash browns. What more could you ask for? Cheese and potatoes. I'm serving these up with some sour cream. Ooh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Bone apple tea, my guy. So we're gonna make Hasselback potatoes. First preheat the oven to 425, wash your potatoes, and cut them up. You'll use chopsticks and cut fine slits down the back of the potato. So easy. Next, line them up on a baking sheet. You'll need vegan butter and garlic. Melt three tablespoons of vegan butter and two cloves of garlic in the microwave for 20 seconds. Mix up your spices, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of cayenne, and of course, a tablespoon of black pepper. You'll need about half a tablespoon of salt. Mix all the spices together, now pour your melted butter and garlic on top of your potatoes. Make sure it gets into all the cracks and crevices. Sprinkle your spices on top. Be generous, because you want it to be spicy. Pop into the oven for about an hour 20, and while that's happening, cut up your green onion. And top them with your vegan sour cream. Throw on those green onions you cut up, and voila! Spicy Hasselback potatoes, ready to eat. Now for the fun part, you guys. We get to enjoy these Hasselbacks. Ugh, look at those little guys. It just like flakes open. So tasty, you guys. Because these potatoes look so cool, I thought it would be fun to stick them into a Spanish tortilla, which is more like an omelet. The potatoes you want to peel, cut into thin slices, and then dry it as much as possible. Go ahead and thinly chop up your onion as well, and you're going to beat together eight eggs. Start the potatoes on their own with some seasoning for 10 minutes. Then add in your onions and cook for another 10 minutes. You're going to take the entire mixture and put it into the eggs. Let it sit for another 10 minutes. You're going to pour the entire mixture back into the pan. Let it cook for 10 minutes. Here comes the scary part. You're going to try to flip the tortilla. Oh, I'm scared. I think I burned it already. Do it. Commit. Commit. Okay. Got it's it. It's going to get a little messy here. Okay. Not bad, actually. It needs to cook for another five minutes because you still want it a little bit runny in the middle. As it cools, prepare some stuff to go around it. So I did arugula, tomatoes with some olive oil and salt. I made some garlic aioli and I cooked up some bacon in the oven. Served all of that alongside some manchego cheese. You can eat this on its own or you can make a bocadillo de tortilla, which is a sandwich with the tortilla pieces and all of your other accoutrements. Whichever way you eat it, it's gonna be simple, delicious Spanish tortilla. Enjoy! Red, white, and blue potatoes into pesto gnocchi. Peel the red, white, and blue potatoes and put it on a baking sheet. Don't boil your potatoes because moisture is the number one enemy for gnocchi. For the pesto, I'm adding in basil, mint, garlic, almonds, a hefty amount of parmesan, a little bit of white truffle, just trying to be fancy, and then olive oil. Mix it up and add a little lime juice, add a little salt, add a little pepper, and then give it a mix again. Turn your potatoes into silly strings, add in two eggs and really get in there and incorporate the eggs into the potato and make it into a potato ball. Add flour to your potato ball and work it in until it turns into a dough. Gnocchi is essentially potato pasta. So keep working the flour into the potato to make a nice smooth dough. Sectioning the dough, roll it out into a nice long skinny log. Then cut that skinny log into bite-sized pieces. You can form your gnocchi into any shape. This is just the easiest method that I know. Drop it into boiling water and keep an eye on it because once it floats, it's done. Garnish with more cheese and here's my pesto gnocchi. Let's have a taste test. Mmm. 
Chef's kiss. I've got this pack of red, white, and blue potatoes from Melissa's, so you know I've got to make something real American-like. How about blue potato bun sliders with red and white waffle fries? Let's separate the blue potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stand mixer with the rest of the ingredients. Knead into a smooth dough and proof until doubled. Roll it out and cut into sections. And shape each piece into a little ball and let them proof again before hitting them with an egg wash and throwing them in the oven. Set a ball of ground beef on a hot cast iron and smash it with a spatula. Season it, cheese it, and toast the buns alongside it. Hit the bottom bun with some secret sauce and top with tiny little onions and tomatoes and baby arugula. I know those were shallots. Now the fries. Get yourself a mandolin with a wavy blade, slice, then rotate 90 degrees, then slice and repeat until you have a whole bunch of fries that look like this. Fry them up and serve alongside the burger. For maximum patriotism, take it outside and eat in your backyard next to your American flag. What's more American than that? All right, y'all, I'm gonna need your help deciding which of those recipes were your favorite. Which one made you drool the most? Which one had the best use of these red, white, and blue potatoes? Comment down below. You decide who wins. Pure pride, no money. Mm -hmm.